Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Lil Peep. It's a psychic mediumship reading. For those of you that are not aware of um, of who Lil Peep is, he was a musician, singer, um, artist in many ways because of his tattoos, his self-expression. Uh, but he was known um, for his type of music, kind of emo uh, style. Uh, and did many collaborations with like XXX Tentacion and a lot of other um, singers, you know. Um, he he was pretty, you know, much rising up in, in the ranks of music uh, prior to his death. Uh, and I believe he did die at, you know, at 20, 21, around that age. So he was fairly young when he passed. Um, very very sad situation i don't know anything about him but one of my friends uh mentioned to me about him you know uh and i went to soundcloud and i got to listen to one of his his music um one of his songs and i really did like it um so i have no idea i had no idea who lil peep was until until then uh very talented uh but yet very conflicted a very very conflicted soul um what i get from him is that uh growing up uh, in his household, there was a lot of dysfunction among his parents. Both of his parents were teachers. Uh, his mom was a teacher and his dad was a professor. Both were Harvard graduates. So I'm giving you facts right before I get into the reading. So you kind of have a background. So his, his upbringing, I feel like, was kind of more strict in many ways. Um, and I do feel like his parents had many expectations on uh, of him. You know, they wanted him to be successful. Uh... They wanted him to really apply himself uh, in life, uh, but when he was in his teens, they ended up divorcing, and so um, I feel like that's when his ideals and his life started to begin to change a lot. Um, he he felt kind of broken through that that whole situation, uh, and I also feel like in his teen years, you know, he would have been surrounded by other people his age kids you know and trying to uh really find himself as a person and he got mixed up in the world of drugs you know and you know that's what a lot of kids think is cool nowadays unfortunately when they are in that you know in that uh in their teens or in their early 20s um not realizing that it becomes very addicting in many ways and it's hard to you know once you start it's hard to stop at least this is what you know I'm getting from his soul and from spirit. So the you know there's a lot of questions speculating on how he died. It was ruled an accidental overdose. Um and so today I'm going to be going into all of this to see, you know, exactly what uh is going on um and what I see here. Now immediately when I'm tuning into his soul um, I'm having to kind of protect myself because he wasn't a bad guy, but he definitely had some spiritual attachments around him. Like when I look at this picture and I'm looking into his eyes, I see on, I don't know if a lot of you will be able to see this, but I'm kind of describing from a psychic's perspective so that way you can kind of see it yourself, kind of look into it. When I look into a photograph to read a person, I'm looking not only at the face, I'm not looking at their facial expressions, I'm not looking at their... Um, I, I kind of more focus, I'm not looking at their hair, their ears, their lips, their neck, you know, I'm looking at their eyes, and then I'm looking at the third eye, which is between the um, the eyebrows, which where he has that symbol there, which is very, you know, very strange, so I do get that he would have been like a star seed in many ways, I feel like he was uh, someone that was a enlightened soul, uh, and most souls that come to earth, um, feel very conflicted here they don't feel like they're at home i'm a star seat myself so i feel the same way so it's you know you don't feel peace here because it, you know this is not your true home it's a temporary place so i feel like he was definitely you know a, a star star seat a star child uh and very um much in his creative zone he expressed himself through fashion through art which most star seats do for me myself that's true and for a lot of you out there i'm pretty sure that's true too I don't have tattoos, but I like to, you know, um, play with color and um, my outfits. I'm, I love fashion and um, and then accessories. So every star seed expresses themselves in a certain way, and it's a way of coping here in on the physical world because it's so um, 
chaotic. It's so different. I do feel like he had um, this duality to himself. So there were rumors or there, there, you know, he did. I don't know if he came out, but there was rumors that he was bisexual, which is OK. But I do feel like, you know, he um, was struggling to kind of identify with what uh you know gender or not exactly what gender but what you know um sex he would like to would have liked to be with so for him i feel like he was the best he kind of saw both as providing uh different forms of affection f towards him um but when i look into his eyes into his face um the right which would be the um the left side of his face like from the center of the forehead all the way down there was a darkness that was taken over. Um, you know, demonic possessions are very real. Uh, I've had multiple clients, you know, that have come to me and I tell them, you know, I don't handle those kind of cases. That would take like a demonologist or someone like that to, to really read or not read, but help that person in many cases. But when I tune into Lil Peep, I do feel like there was some type of um, spiritual oppression from a dark entity uh you know attaching itself to him if you look closely and you divide his face in half and you're looking at the right side from this photograph which is the left side and he has a heart on on that side so that way you know which side i'm talking about it's the side of his face where there's the nose ring there's a darkness there that kind of emanates a little bit stronger and it's not the shadow of the the camera or the lighting uh, it's something that I see more spiritual because I, I don't only see it through my third eye when I look at look at them and I'm reading people, but I can also see it with my physical eyes. Um, and I feel like that's the side of him that was kind of, you know, darker, the left side of his body uh, in many ways. And I feel like that's the side um, that he kind of, you know, handled a lot of the the negativity and it would have affected him greater which would be more of the heart space so his heart you know wasn't working or functioning in the best capacity either because of all of this uh these issues that were going on internally with him the energy that he was holding on to i feel like the people that he was surrounding himself once he got you know to a certain level of fame they weren't the best towards him they you know a lot of people were like hey you know this this and this um and the, he did collaborate with them but there was a lot of sleepless nights uh sleeping until like one or two in the morning i mean the afternoon and then waking up like almost like a vampire would you know sleep during the day wake up at night and up all mostly all night and that's kind of like the vibe that i'm getting from this and when his his um his schedule had to change and he had to be awake during the daytime it was very uh, hard to adjust because again i get like a lot of lack of sleep a lot of um just not being in peace a lot of struggles mentally internally in, in the mind it was all in the mind i do feel like he had some psychic abilities he had clear audience which was to hear things i don't know if he discussed this with you know bella thorne with who he was you know he had a, a relationship with or he's discussed it with his manager or anyone you know they could have perceived it as him having like you know hal hallucinating because of the drugs and the mushrooms and the things that he was taking but i really do feel like he was he had abilities he could hear spirit and usually like physical mediums that um you know that are physical mediums they are individuals who start taking a lot they process death a lot through themselves they don't um they don't live for a very long time and i feel like for him he was very much a physical medium i feel like he could see spirit he could see shadows he could see things i don't know if he discussed this with his parents or with people but i do get from his soul that he did see a lot beyond he saw a lot of the dark stuff because some mediums have the ability to see the light and some mediums have the ability to see darker things it's not always just you know the 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 good souls that we see there's some of us that see the good souls and there's some of us that can see both that the dark and the good souls and i feel like he saw more of the dark souls around people and and things so he was very intuitive and i feel like that was one of his gifts but very conflicted he wanted to rest after a you know i feel like his body was wanting to rest he was just exhausted the days leading up to his his passing I will start off by saying that I don't feel that there was any foul play. There was definitely no foul play. I do feel like he did accidentally indeed 
take what you know the coroner you know what whatever the autopsy showed would be accurate from what i'm getting from his soul that he did you know it wasn't intentional he didn't really remember like you have to understand when someone is on mushrooms or uh xanax and other substances you know whatever he, he took it plays with your mind and a lot of people forget in that altered state what they took and i feel like that's what he he you know he took some things a few hours before falling asleep on the bus and then he took some more medicine woke up took some more medicine and then got in his system and it it just shut down his heart his heart you know was overworking like all of that is stress on the heart all that medication that's why a lot of these drugs even if they're supposedly you know that's why i i don't you know condone anyone use, using like shrooms or things like that because even though i'm not trying to be judgmental you know there's a lot of shamans and you know people that use uh different kind of things to you know take people on a spiritual journey it's very risky and that and there's always a, a chance that you know if you have a pre-existing condition and you're not aware of it that that could be the end of you uh in that in that case you know a lot of people just are not aware of what they, they start combining things or drinking and i believe they did say that he, they didn't they didn't believe that he had any alcohol in his system which i also feel that that is true i feel like he didn't really have any kind of thoughts of drinking it was just taking popping a pill and um and how he would have been found uh i feel like he was he was very much on his back that's what i'm getting i don't know i, I keep f hearing and seeing visions of being on his back in many ways but i feel like he was just um the heart you know just gave up it gave up it was too much in the system too much he was a small guy he wasn't a you know a, someone that was you know heavy or uh heavier you know in weight so any kind of system any kind of medicine or drugs that he would have put substances into his system you know being a smaller guy thin um it would have taken you know immediately control of his uh of the body and it would have jeopardized and i already feel like he had some issues with his heart you know from a lot of the the medications and stuff that he was on a lot of that affects the body and it speeds up the heart to the point where it just doesn't um function um when i was doing this reading when i started you know uh putting the powerpoint presentation i did write down a message he had for sarah sarah stinnett was uh, a woman i believe that believed in him and invested in him financially and kind of was like a guide for him and what he said for her he says thank you for being someone who showed me it's okay to be me and giving me a chance uh for giving me a chance and believing in me so i feel like his relationship with that that woman uh was someone that uh kind of you know really believed in him and his talent and what he could do and that's the message that, that he um he has for sarah so uh that was for sarah and for bella i feel like he always loved bella even if they were not together there will always be a special place in his soul for bella and i feel like they were actually soulmates but this is bella thorne that i'm talking about but there's so much conflicting information between i mean there were so many conflicting things that were going on with his career and his choices and then bella's career so i feel like there was a lot of that couldn't come through but he is showing me love that that was a love connection they were soulmates they were supposed to be together but for whatever reason you know a lot of things and he walked away from that relationship i feel very empty feeling very empty very depressed it didn't help his depression at all so this is kind of something like you know he doesn't want bella the message here is that he doesn't want bella to feel guilty for his passing although she may not feel guilty but somewhere on the subconscious level i do feel like she thinks about him still and she does still um have some feelings of remorse and feelings of guilt that perhaps you know the her breakup with him caused him to eventually lead to to this and he's saying no i'm accountable i'm hold i'm ta i'm being held i'm taking accountability he's saying for my passing i knew exactly what i was doing even though it was an accident 
I was putting medication and I couldn't stop. And he was trying to numb the pain. He was in a lot of pain psychologically and mentally and physically. Um, there was a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain in the in the chest area. But um, yeah, I feel like the people that he was around could have helped him if they would have kept a closer eye and maybe a bit more strict on him. You know, telling him like his manager, um, which is not his manager's fault either. You know. Um, but, you know, if they would have, you know, gone back in time and kind of like, and I feel like the manager actually did, you know, that's what I'm getting right now. The manager did tell him many times, you need to stop this. You need to stop that. You know, this is not good for you pre-shows, you know, and everything. So I think before every show, he was you know, already getting kind of hammered in many ways. That's the, the term that he's using, hammered. I don't know that what that means, but he was getting kind of hammered with uh, medications and stuff before going on stage and uh you know and, and performing and whatnot so i feel like in many ways he had some people that really did care about him that were trying to get him to stop but he was very stubborn he wasn't going to listen and i just feel like he like i said he had a spiritual attachment had he gone to maybe like a reiki master uh a reiki master or someone that was a psychic medium that could identify exactly what was going on with him. Maybe they could have done a cleansing on his body, on his soul, to kind of, you know, remove this entity away. Um, when I tune into the entity itself, it is a male. And I just get like a dark shadow, a dark silhouette that fo followed him. And there's something about the water as well. I don't know if the days um, leading prior to his passing, if he was around a lot of water, but I keep seeing a lot of water um, close by, like an ocean. So where he was, I don't know if they spent some hours near the water on the beach. Um, there's also, um, he's showing me a lot of smoke. Again, I don't know if he smoked, but usually when I see smoke like this, a lot of smoke there's people that are a group in a group together you know it could be that they were smoking pot or smoking something you know another substance but there was something about smoke coming up and he's showing me visions of it and um what i get like when all around him is that i'm tr trying to interpret what i'm seeing here there's a there is a female that that is with him on the other side um she has brown hair she has like a almost like an oval face pretty young herself uh when i say young i want to say 40s 50s uh brown hair and um it's parted in the center kind of long and kind of put back into like a ponytail it's kind of strange how that's coming in, but sometimes, like I said, I'll see things um, when I'm doing um, these kind of readings. You know, there's other spirits that are trying to come through um, when I'm tuning in, but I do feel like there was, uh, there is a female that is with him on the other side um, now, and I feel like this is somebody in the family is what I'm getting. So I don't know. If there was like a somebody else that would have been lost in the family, a family member. But he's not alone on the other side. He's he's more than okay. Um, but I do feel like his mind was very much like a cloud. Like there was a dark cloud that always surrounded Lil Peep. And so regardless of the amount of success he would have had, he's saying that the, the ultimate result would have been the same. He would have passed. He would have chosen to pass this way. Um, which I don't feel like there was any struggles. There wasn't any pain. It was in his sleep. Basically, in his sleep is how he passed, which is something, you know, a lot of people would like to do. You know, I know this sounds weird for me to even say that, you know, that a lot of people want to pass in their sleep. But there is a lot of people that prefer that that method of passing, you know, that they'll say, you know, when I pass, I hope I pass in my sleep because that's the most peaceful way to kind of pass uh, in your sleep because it's like it's transitioning to spirit it's like dream time basically but um yeah he is sorry he is sorry for, um and he says sorry over and over to his mom and dad i just keep hearing sorry 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 so um 
Yeah, he's very sorry to his family. He's sorry about all of that. He says if he could go back, he would change, you know, a lot of things, but music would be one thing that he will never he would have never changed. He was very happy with his music. It was his legacy, it was his his passion and through it he felt alive. And his real name wasn't Lil Peep for those of you that are he was I believe part Swedish. So I believe it was like Gustav or Gustav. I can't pronounce words right, but it, it, his name was not Lil Peep. That was the stage name, the stage name that he took, you know, the celebrity name. But um, there was a lot of secrets as well. I don't feel like he opened up to his parents. He kind of cut him out of his life. Uh, I don't feel like he would have communicated a lot of what he was thinking and feeling with his people uh, with his you know his friends and even with fans to a certain point he he didn't let them know because he didn't want them to worry about him but he's saying that he is okay he is okay definitely okay and he thinks all the fans that got tattoos um in memory of him because there's a lot of people that got tattoos after his passing um you know to mem commemorate Lil Peep and I also feel like there was someone close to him in the band, maybe, or in his entourage that uh, also got a tattoo in memory of him. And he's telling them thank you. And I feel like this was a male in many ways. So this was the psychic reading for, I'm sorry, it's kind of a little slower. Um, this was a little bit different uh, because he was communicating very strongly. And so I was trying to interpret um, what I, I was seeing. You know, I, I did see... Uh, another female so there is someone else on the other side with him and again only maybe his parents or his close friends would, would be able to know but he's not alone um, but I really um, want to thank you for suggesting for that I do this video if there are any other celebrities that you want me to do please comment in the comment section below I enjoy seeing them and for those of you that have commented already I will get to them in the you know in the order that they are placed here on in the comment section I always go back to my previous videos to see you know who you recommended so i can uh, do them so i'll be doing a lot more of celebrity readings on a lot of different people some that have already passed some that are are still alive i've been doing lately a lot of the people that have passed um for some you know for many reasons because there's a lot of people that have closure that are still fans um, they want closure or they want you know to reconnect um, to their story, to their uh, their soul. And so I'm doing a lot of those, but I will be doing some people that are alive, that are celebrities here soon, kind of mixing up the uh, both of them. But um, thank you once again. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing uh, day. Also, don't forget right now in my shop, it's 10% off all psychic readings. Uh, just use the promo code HOLIDAYS. That's capital H-O-L-I-D-A-Y-S. Just the capital H and the rest is all lowercase holidays, and it gives you 10% off any psychic reading uh, on my shop. So, And that's good until December 31st. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day.